production. Combat. Starring Rick Jason. seconds he would have put a hole in you. I've got a check-in. You finish mopping up. Right. Well, I got off those shots. Thanks. Uh, Sergeant, I have to admit... I didn't ask who it was. Well, I said it was thanks. This cage. He was just behind me. How far behind? I don't know. Doc, little John, you come with me. The rest of you check out those houses. And don't miss anything. Let's go. shouldn't have been here in the first place. Come on, Cage. Sergeant. I killed the Frenchman. Things like this happen. Well, whenever you're ready, I'll be outside.
Hey, Kirby. Mm hmm That crowd that was gonna knock up the Sarge, you plug him? <laughs> With all due modesty, I gotta admit it was me. How come he didn't want to know who saved him? Sarge didn't want to feel beholden. Yeah, that's right. To one of us any more than the others. I, uh, I figure he'll save your skin a couple times before this is through, Kirby. <laughs> now, you my skin I'm worried about, Billy. It's my stomach. Hey, Gage. What do you know about the foods that are native to this area of dear old France? I'm not hungry. <laughs> well, we are. Look, since we're guests in this country, you see, and they're your kind of people, uh, being French, I mean. See, maybe when the villagers come back, you could talk them into giving us a pig or something. Or we could throw a little barbecue, you know? I said I'm not hungry! What's with him, anyway? He killed one of the villagers by mistake. Our artillery must have killed a few by mistake, too. Yeah, well, like you said, Kirby, his kind of people. Well, don't you forget, a lot of our kind of people been getting it, too, you know? Yeah, but we didn't do it. And we didn't see their faces a split second after a grenade went off. I asked him to bury him. Listen to me, Cage. He shouldn't have been in the village in the first place. They realize it was an accident. They, they understand. Understand? What's with Cage? You speak a little French, don't you? Two years in high school. That's good enough. You come with me. Famille. Je ne connais pas. Mais vous, vous êtes de ce village, n'est-ce pas? J'habite une caniche au bord de la rivière. Cage is pumping him. The guy won't say much, uh, except where the guy lived, uh, uh, on a barge uh, in a river. Understand? An accident. Comprenez, c'est un accident. Whatever's tearing a cage wasn't buried with that body. See anything in Cage yet? No. Nope. 
Sarge, Cage pulls an outpost in an hour. I'll take it for him. Why? Well, he's all shook up. I just thought that... You just thought what? Cage is such a sensitive soul, the war just became too much for him. Well, I can't see anything wrong with helping a buddy over a rough spot. Well, this rough spot is going to have to help himself over. I don't get him sometimes. He just doesn't want to lose Cage, that's all. Cage is shook. Why can't we give him a little extra consideration? Exactly how much consideration? What do you mean, exactly how much? Well, I mean, how can Saunders help any one of us? You know, if, if we don't meet him halfway, how can he do his job, keep us alive? I don't know. Italian sending up reinforcements. We'll be moving out sometime tomorrow. Right. Where's Cage and outpost? No, he doesn't come on until later. He uh, just took a little walk. He's all right, isn't he? Oh, yes. Yes, he's fine. Quelqu'un à bord
nice shirt, huh? Did I ever tell you the story about the about the kid who kept hitting himself on the head with a hammer? Huh? Well, they said to this kid, they said, "What are you doing that for?" And he said, "Because uh, it feels so good when I stop." That's a very funny story, Sergeant. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. So why don't you put down the hammer? Huh? Okay, every once in a while a guy runs into something and he figures this is a, a very special kind of a hell arranged just for him. All I'm trying to do is to tell you I've had these things happen to me too. I've seen... I've seen buddies follow my orders and end up dead for it. I know. Hmm. You don't know. But maybe now you... You're kind of getting the idea. You can't personally carry the responsibility. You can't. All right. You've got a fire in your gut, huh? I'll tell you what you do. You wash it out. Come on, kids, you wash it out. You're not made of iron, I'm not made of iron. It'd be a lot easier if we were. Qu'est-ce que tu fais là Hein Comment t'appelles-tu Hein Tu demeures ici Oui. Je vivais ici. Oui, mon nom est Micheline. Comment tu sais ça The brother, man who buried her father, he told us about it after he left. The boy never mentioned the family to me. He didn't feel he had to. He didn't see her or the mother around. He figured there was no point. knock it off. She doesn't know anything. Bush. She even thinks we're Germans. No. It's a Bush, Micheline. It's an American. American. You comprends? It's a Bush. It's a Liberator. It's a Liberator. American. Oui, nous sommes Américains, il ne faut pas avoir peur, hein? Avez-vous vu mon papa? Gage. What is she saying? She wants to know if I've seen her father. Les pas sont venus ici. Ils ont fait du mal à ma mère. Papa nous a cachés dans la forêt. Et après, il est parti. Pour voir les Américains, pour trouver un docteur. Crowds came here, shot their mother. Father. 
father hit them in the forest. Came to us for medical help. Mama, it hit and drove me. She is a yellow lock of a yay. Miss the Tate and Pesibla. Please have pleasure, Miss Remise. I shall see Papa. She thinks. She thinks her mother is asleep. Can't wake her up. Cage. to me for help and I kill him. No, no, no. Tell her only what, what she has to know. And that's all. Micheline? Oh, Papa? Mama. So, so more. No. No. Oui. No. So more. Mama, it don't do me. No. Et pourquoi papa est tout mort? I don't know why your father is dead. Hey, Cage, we, we cooked some chickens up last night. Uh, we thought maybe you'd... Well, I mean, we got some left, if you care to... He's already eaten. Well, maybe she'd like a, some chocolate or something. No, thanks. Cage, I think we're pulling out this afternoon. She sure is a pretty little girl. Yeah. She hangs on to him.
Cage. Sarge looking for you. Think we're gonna move out. I know it. Cage? We've been talking to Monsieur Marcel about Micheline, and uh, he's agreed to take her. The townspeople will be back in a couple of days, and he'll make arrangements for her disposition. Disposition? What do you mean? Well, you've heard the word before, Cage. We'll probably be moving out this afternoon. Uh, will you, uh, 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 comme donnez-vous l'argent pour payer les petits frais et faire les dépenses? What did he say? He wants to know how much money you're going to pay him to take her off your hands. We're not going to pay him anything. We're just giving him a little cash, expense money to take care of her until the proper authorities take over. Sergeant. I know, but maybe, maybe in the wrong way. Well, you better find the right way. In case you're forgotten, we're on standby. Those craps throw down on us. We're going to need every man we've got. We'll have him. Not if he doesn't snap, too. Did he stand out post duty last night? No, sir, he didn't. Why not? I put little John in his place. You're going to find somebody to hold his rifle, too? He'll hold his own rifle. Well, you better see that he does, and also that he remembers where, how, and when to use it. And the next time he turns his back on me, he's going to face insubordination charges. Comme il va la voile, hein? Il n'est pas joli, non? Regarde. Il s'amène juste vers toi. Tiens, prends-le. Prends-le. Tu aimes les lapins, hein? À Pâques. Il donnait des lapins à Pâques. Tu aimes les lapins, hein? Ma mère me donnait un lapin tous les dimanches à Pâques. Regarde, tu fais un lapin. Et si tu flattes, tu deviens en vie. Tu vois? Faire lapin. Allez, hop. Tu es en vie, hein? Regarde. Tu le flattes, hein? Tu veux jouer au cerceau, non? Je ne veux pas jouer. Tu veux jouer au cerceau? Faut que tu joues au cerceau. Tu n'aimes pas le cerceau? Je n'aime pas le cerceau. Ah, tu vas voir, ça va fonctionner. Ah, bonne bascule, hein? Et voilà. Tu n'as jamais joué à la bascule quand tu étais plus jeune, hein? Tiens, monte. Je vais te mettre ça pour pas que tu te fasses mal. Et hey, voilà. T'asseoir. Allez, viens. Branche-toi bien, là. Fais attention, hein. Fais attention, hein. Et voilà. Et hop, voilà. <rire> tu vois, ça fonctionne. Hi. Hop, hey. <rire>
Non, je me suis pas fait mal. <rire> non, je me suis pas fait mal. <rire> oh, Micheline, est-ce que tu es jolie? <rire> ah! Take Micheline. You better say goodbye to her. Are you sure you paid him enough? Cage, okay, I've had it. I'm talked out. Just say goodbye to her and let's go. Just give me a cage. She needs me, Sergeant. It's nobody's fault but your own. All right, take her and get out of here. Ne touche pas, t'as compris? I told you, I warned you not to get yourself involved. Yeah. Take the easy way out, huh? No cage the hard way. You're tore up, but you couldn't handle it on your own, so you had to drag her into it to help carry the load. And now it's time to walk away, and there's nobody to lean on. Let's see if you really got the guts. All right, take her out of here. Switching plans, Sergeant. Company wants us to dig in here and wait reinforcements. Why the switch? Crowds. There's a lot of them up ahead and they're coming this way. Company figures we stand a better chance if we dig in here. We? Oui. You mean one platoon? One squad. Here in town. The rest of the platoon will be out on the flank. All right. Get on the next block and dig in. We haven't got much time, so let's move. All right, there's a man. Let's go. You too, Cage.
Please let me go back and get the girl. What girl? What girl? You know what I mean. I don't know any girl, Cage. You and the men in the squad, these are the only people I know. The crowds may go back to the barge. I've got to get her. Cage, will you listen to me? As long as we're together, you might get through this. When it's over, the squad, the patrol, all of it, it's gonna, it's gonna disappear. Everyone's going to go his own way. What happened to you here will be forgotten. Forgotten? Sergeant, if anything happens to that girl... If anything happens to that girl, you won't know about it. You'll see what we see, do what we do, no more, no less. Now you keep taking this personally and you're going to destroy yourself. Beyond him. No. Wait on the line. All right.
همجور میشنید Hey, au revoir. Et sois une bonne fille. Let's move out. Au revoir, monsieur. Prenez-en bien soin, hein? He asked me to say goodbye to you, son. You ready to leave this place, Cage? She asked me how her father died. I told her the, the war killed him. She let it go at that. Well, how about you, Cage? You gonna let it go at that? You know, if you went to the barge for her, she may have died because you weren't here. I was here. I'm ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> 